Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are back on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We are doing a, another segment of the Blue Ridge Parkway from Blowing Rock, North Carolina to Asheville, North Carolina. It's about 91 miles stretch of the Blue Ridge Parkway, and so come along with us, it's going to be a good time. In this video, my wife and I drive the Blue Ridge Parkway about 90 miles from Blowing Rock, North Carolina to Asheville, North Carolina. This beautiful stretch includes endless vistas and mountain views along a lovely drive. Early in our trip, we stopped at Linville Falls where we got out and hiked a short distance to amazing viewpoints of the falls before hopping back onto the road to continue down the parkway. The Blue Ridge Parkway, noted for its scenic beauty, is America's longest linear park at 469 miles long. It links together Shenandoah National Park and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We drove only a small portion of its length in this video, but we had an amazing trip. There were so many pullouts that we couldn't stop at them all. Other highlights included interesting tunnels and beautiful hardwood forests. The highest point reached on this segment was 5,696 feet, just before the long descent down into Asheville. If you enjoy this video, make sure to check out our video of driving the section from Cherokee, North Carolina to Asheville. I'll put a link to that in the description and above. Blue Ridge Parkway. Getting on the Blue Ridge Parkway in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. This is the Moses Cone Estate. Mountain retreat with beautiful view. Overlook, elevation 4,134 feet. The Wilson Creek Valley. Elevation here is 4,356 feet.
Olga the viaduct up there. This is the Lynn Cove Viaduct, basically a long bridge. see it from the car but there's some pretty flowers We are hiking to the Linville Falls, which is just a half mile trail each direction, not very difficult. We're gonna give it a look. So there's just the, those were just the upper falls. The bigger is down here. Very impressive. We are back to the bridge over the uh, Linville Creek here and the National Park Visitor Center. Okay, that was our little detour to the Linville Falls. Now we're uh, heading back south again on the Blue Ridge Parkway.
Bear Den Overlook. Hefner Gap Overlook. North Cove. Elevation here is 2815. We, I thought we'd come down quite a bit. Yeah, it must be orchards up there. Ah, orchard it says. The orchard at Alta Pass it says. closed right now. Deer Lake Gap Overlook, elevation 3,452 feet. Overlook, elevation 3,892 feet. This says twin tunnels. Does that mean there's two of them? Let's find out. Oh yeah, look at that! That's cool. That's cool.
that's a little bit of vertigo there. <laughs> that's quite the drop. The Curtis Valley Overlook. Elevation 4,460 feet. This is the Rough Ridge Tunnel. Almost missed it. Somewhere out there is Virginia. I don't know where. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Mount Mitchell Overlook. Mount Mitchell is the tallest mountain east of the Mississippi River at an elevation of 6,684 feet. This says Greybeard Mountain. Elevation 5,592 feet.
ridge tunnel. Bark Ridge Overlook. We are descending down to Asheville, which is not very far away now. back to Asheville. We were going to be exiting here shortly. So thanks for coming along with us on this beautiful drive on the gorgeous Blue Ridge Parkway. Catch you next time.